Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monday, the 11th of April, 2022, of Holy Week. We blame little things in others and overlook great things in ourselves. He that should well and justly weigh his own doing would find little cause to judge harshly of another. Daily Prayer Give us, Lord, a lively faith, a firm hope, a fervent charity, a love of you. Take from us all lukewarmness in meditation, dullness in prayer. Give us fervor and delight in thinking of you and your grace, your tender compassion towards me. The things we pray for, good Lord, give us grace to labor for, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Judas thought Mary's anointing was wasteful, preventing the costly nard from benefiting the poor. In point of fact, it served precisely that purpose when the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. The worst sort of poverty is to be unaware of or unmoved by the Savior's presence and Mary's action drew the attention of everyone to Jesus. He is the only one who will establish justice on the earth. He is the true light for the nations. Are we willing to waste our lives for the love of Jesus? To be embarrassingly attentive to Him? Do we believe that He is worth it? The Epistle He will not cry out nor make his voice heard in the street. First Oracle of the Servant of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 1. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, with whom I am pleased upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 27 Responsorial The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, My heart will not fear, though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. 
The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Gospel Acclamation Marvelous and great are your works, O Lord. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Marvelous and great are your works, O Lord. The Gospel Let her keep this for the day of my burial. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verse 1. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples and one who would betray him said, Was this oil not sold for three hundred days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. John 12, 3 Everyone was shocked that Mary would anoint Jesus' feet with such costly oil. Everyone, that is, but Jesus. He saw it for what it was, a generous, prophetic gesture that was meant to give Him glory. Don't we all wish we could respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit as generously as Mary did? But what if the Holy Spirit is calling us to offer something else to Jesus, like our time? Let's consider the story of Sandra. Sandra was a dedicated, active Catholic mom. Her to-do list was endless, and she used every spare moment to cross off another item on her list. Last Lent, Sandra attended a parish mission focusing on the theme, Pour Yourself Out on Jesus. On the second night of the mission, Sandra realized that pouring herself out like this meant making Jesus the top priority in her life. In a flash of inspiration, she saw that she rarely included Jesus on her to-do list. So she decided to start every day by spending 20 minutes with Him in prayer. Every morning during Lent, Sandra read the Gospel stories about Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection, 
and the results were amazing. She began to see how much Jesus loved her. She saw his mercy in a whole new light, and what she saw made her love him more and more. Sandra's prayer also began to change the way she approached her to-do list. Rather than immediately diving in and checking off item after item, she ended her prayer time by saying, Lord, you know that I have a lot to get done today, but I don't want my to-do list to keep me from honoring you. Sandra found it hard at first, but each time she put aside her plans so that she could help someone out, she felt a deep sense of accomplishment. She also discovered that she was usually able to take care of the most important items on her list. Like the woman in today's Gospel reading, Sandra learned that loving and serving Jesus was the most important thing she could ever do. Let's imitate these two women by pouring ourselves out for the Lord. Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. Help me to give my life back to you. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.